Welcome to Easy Land Economics. I'm Dr. Cavill. Today we shall learn the circular flow of income in three sector economy with national income equality with the involvement of the government. We have learned about the two sector economy. So in this lecture we are going to discuss about the three sector economy. So our lecture plan is based on that that what is the circular flow of national income in three sector economy. What are the assumptions on the basis of the three sector economy functions? What is the three sector economy model? And national income identity with government. Circular flow of national income in three sector economy. As we learned in two sector economy involves the household and firms. The new thing that three sector economy and other sector will in include. So we will see now and why it is included. What is the benefit of inclusion of the third sector in this model? The two sector economy as we learned our closed economy is economy which is self-sufficient in production and consumption of goods and services and economy has no relation with the rest of the world. Due to market failure too many some goods and too few of other goods are produced and to prohibit any competitive measures to provide public goods that include the system of justice and national defense to deal with the externalities and to make more equitable distribution of income and to achieve the macroeconomic objectives of full employment, price stability, the balance of payment and sustainable economic growth, the three sector model is created only by adding the government sector to the two sector model. Three kinds of monetary flow takes place between household, firms and government. Government spends a part of its tax revenue as a factor payments to the households and a part in the form of transfer payments as pension and food subsidies. So what are those assumptions on the basis of which the three sector economy functions to introduce a financial market in three sector economy, it is assumed that household sales in the financial market and firms borrow from financial market for investment purpose. This is the three sector economy model. This is the household and it is a firm and uh, the household provides the factor of production towards the firm through resource market and the firms against those received resources gives rent against land, wages against labor and borrowed capital interest and profit against entrepreneurial skills. That becomes the income of the household and then the firms provide goods in the product market and the household make expenditure on the purchase of those goods that becomes the income of the firms. The study up to this extent is clear the two sector economy because there is no economic relation with the rest of the world. There is no export and import. So now an other sector involves that is the financial institutions where the household deposit their savings a the firms borrow the funds for investment from financial institutions government sector introduced in economy the household pays the taxes plus fees towards the government and receives transfer payments from the government and also the firms pays taxes plus fees and receives subsidies from the government the government provides the public goods and services towards the household and firms against the received income in the form of taxes and fees. This is basically the three sector economy model. Just like the household and firms, the government also earns the income and make expenses. Two major functions played are first, the government earns revenue either from tax or non tax source both from household and firms under three sector economy and the government provides essential public services such as maintenance of law and order defense services judiciary etc towards the household and firms the national income identity with government there is a mathematical expression 
in the saving investment identity under two secretary economy we learned that the expenditure was equals to the consumption plus investment and there was the absence of the government so here is the three secretary economy and we have added the g g indicates that the government has included in the two secretary economy so the expenditure side is equals to the consumption plus investment plus government expenditure from income side so the consumption plus saving plus taxes by making both equations equals to each other it it means the expenditure must be equals to the income investment plus government expenditure shall be equals to the saving plus taxes government expenditure minus taxes is equal to saving minus investment it means if government expenditure means g is greater than the taxes collected by the government there will be the budget deficit and the government will borrow from the financial market and if the government expenditure is less than the taxes there will be the budget surplus so in this way the national income identity with government functions under three sector economy i hope it would be helpful for you if you have any question or query you may ask in comment box thanks for watching